my stand on the existing uh, protocol. My name is uh, Andrea Nkoli Chupuka Fidelia Ezanoikwa. I'm a lecturer in this institution. Sir, please, please let the sister ask a question. Sister, can you speak a bit yeah. loudly and slowly? Yeah. I'm a lecturer in this institution. I work in mass communication department. Sorry, you work in? In mass communication mass department. Mass communication, mashallah. That's my field also, mass communication. Yeah. So with all due respect, I would like to clear something that, you know, the young man could not really explain very well. The Bible recorded the Trinity. Christ said that I and my father are one. Very good. And when Christ was living this world, he told us his followers, I'm going to send the Holy Spirit sister, who will do you be know, with sister, you the do end you, of time. Sister, do you know the reference? Then, excuse me. Sister, did I you? I have really studied many, 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 many religions, including uh, Islam, Buddhism, traditional, and a lot of them. Even the Jewish, the same. But from sister. my own observation, Every religion is talking about peace. So, concerning what this is said, that the only way somebody can have peace is through Islamism. You are right, but that should be only for the Muslims. So that for those who are not Muslims, they can still find peace by doing the right thing because God is one, and that is the concept of God. So let us stop talking about religion politics. Let us talk about uniting our nation because this is the problem we're having. Look at our group oil. We have refineries and they're not functioning. I will reply and to you, sister. Hold on. I will reply to you. This our is not a lecture time. Please, sister, this please, is not a lecture please, time. Did you hear the rules? Your question should be in two or three sentences. No way, this is the question please, answer time, not a lecturing please, time. I have understood your question. You have quoted me from the Bible the that I and my father are one. I want to know, Please, do you know the reference? Leave it to me. Let do you know where does the Bible say yes, that Jesus Christ said, yes, I and my uh, father are one? Yes, the Bible says so in the book of Matthew. You're and wrong. Nowhere does the Bible say in the book of John Matthew. John 10. John 10. Bible says. Go to John 10 too and John 10 and then the book of Genesis. I'm sorry and to that say, sister. When God wanted to create Adam, he said, let us great man, let us be poor. Let us great man in our own image and likeness. Sister, you have misquoted your Bible. You are low. We are not yet fighting. I cannot hear you. Okay, you are shouting, I cannot hear you. Now your time is over. Wait, wait, sister, finish. You cannot talk so long. Please. Put off that microphone. That system wants to give a lecture. Put off the microphone. You can hire the stadium. No, you no. are a prof. You are in mass communication. You can hire the stadium. You Hello. can hire the stadium tomorrow. Hello. Hello. You Excuse can hire the stadium tomorrow. Listen this is not a. Do you understand English? Do you understand you? English? Do, if you understand English, this is a question answer time, not a giving a speech time. Listen, you are supposed to I'm ask the question about? in two or three sentences. You are holding the use of this nation this afternoon. I would request the mic to be put off. Put off the microphone. She doesn't understand English. The sister is of mass communication. She saw an opportunity. MashaAllah, 20,000 people. Let me start preaching. You have, you have this hall tomorrow and give a talk. Let's see 20,000 come or not. They will not come. You ask a question, I want to reply. No, your microphone will be off. Because you have a problem. You have a problem. No, I do not want this. You have a problem. She told, Jesus said, I and my father are in the Gospel of Matthew. She is lying. Jesus said in the Gospel of John, chapter number 10, verse number 30, I and my father are one. It's a lie. She doesn't know a Bible. She claims to be a Christian. She is quoting a verse of the Bible and she's saying it's in Gospel of Matthew. She's trying to pull a fast one. No, she's trying to pull a fast one. Let me reply. What is the context? What is the context of Gospel of John, chapter number 10? Let the lady listen to my answer. Brother, let her listen to the answer. She has a problem. She wants to give a lecture, free lecture. When she saw 20,000 people coming, she wants to give a free lecture. She wants to break the rules. So anyone breaks the rule, 
I clearly mentioned that the question should be asked in two or three sentences. The sister quoted a verse from the Bible, Gospel of John, chapter number 10, verse number 30, I and my father are one. What is the context? I request everyone to be silent. I request the people to be silent, please. I request the audience. I request the audience to be silent. Are the people here Muslims of Nigeria? Are you Muslims? So please keep quiet. Please keep quiet. I want silence. I want silence, please. If someone is talking about Islam, please keep quiet. MashaAllah, Jadakallah, Shukran. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala reward all of you. Takbir. The sister quoted, a, she quoted a verse of the Bible, she gave wrong reference. What she said, Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, said, I and my father are one. My challenge was, point out a single unequivocal statement, a single unambiguous statement, where Jesus Christ, peace be upon himself, says that I am God, or where he says, worship me, I'll accept Christianity. I and my father are one does not mean I am God. What is the context? For the context, you have to go seven verses before. If you read the Gospel of John, chapter number 10, verse number 23, it says, Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, entered the porch in Solomon's temple. Verse number 24, the Jews surrounded him and asked him, how long does make us doubt? If thou art the Christ, tell us plainly. Verse number 25, Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, said, I told you, but you believe not. The work that I do, bear witness of my father. Verse number 26, you are not my sheep, therefore you believe not in me. Verse number 27, who follow me, they listen to me. Verse number 28, no man can pluck them out of my hand. Verse number 29, my father is greater than all. No man can pluck them out of my father's hand. I and my father are one. What is the context? If I say my father is a doctor, I am a doctor, I and my father are one, do we become one human being? They don't know English. My father is a doctor, I am a doctor, I and my father are one, meaning purpose we are one, we both are doctors. So here Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, saying, no man can pluck them out of my hand, the followers. No man can pluck them out of my father's hand. I and my father are one, that means in delivering the message of God, they are one. Nowhere does it mean they are one in purpose. The sister does it with the context. Therefore I say, I am more Christian than you, because I follow your Bible more than what you are following. Verse number 31, the Jews, they pick up stones to stone Jesus Christ, peace be upon him. So Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, replies in verse number 32, many good works have I done, for which of the good works do you want to stone me? Verse number 33, we do not stone you for any good work, we stone you because you blaspheme. You being a man, you call yourself God. Same thing like how the sister is thinking, that Jesus called God. So Jesus replies, is it not mentioned in your scriptures? 82nd Psalms, verse number 6, if the word of God comes to him, and if you call him God, the scripture is not broken. Jesus is telling the Jews who want to stone him, I'm not blaspheming. If the word of God came to him, and you call him God, the scripture is not broken. So I'm reading the Bible. I'm following the Bible more than that brother, more than the sister. They are screaming, screaming, screaming. She is saying, Matthew, Matthew doesn't say only I and my father are one. She doesn't want to apologize also, I made a mistake. She wants to keep on talking and wants to give a free lecture. You want to give a lecture, give an ad in the paper, you have mass communication and see how many turn up. I doubt whether even 200 will turn up. Leave aside 20,000. So, Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, never claimed divinity. He never said, I am God.